Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are talking about some really, really incredible wet looking eyeshadows. I did this video last year talking about just like a roundup of some incredible wet looking eyeshadows and Really, since I put out that video, I haven't been able to stop thinking about doing a part two. So that is what we are doing here today. I have so many new picks to talk about. I will leave my part one to this video because there are so many picks in that video. So if you feel like I'm missing something, check out that video first. I'll leave it linked down below and I will also leave Mariah Leonard's video linked down below because this concept is inspired by her video. I absolutely love her, so be sure to go check out that video. And I'm also going to be talking about some products that might, you know, people might say that they are wet looking, but I'm going to kind of throw my opinion into the ring. And some of these I don't think are the absolute best bang for your buck, but some of them I like now like can't be without. There's a lot to talk about. Also, so I have some like weird baby hairs going on up here. Let's ignore that. And then I'm going to be giving you guys swatches and demos. That's why it's kind of taken me a little bit long to do this video. But if you do appreciate it, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you do decide to purchase anything and you'd like to support this kind of content on my channel, you can use any of my affiliate links down below. If you guys don't know what an affiliate link is, essentially I get a small commission from any of the purchases you guys use through my links down below. Of course, no pressure to do so but if you guys want to they are down there let's jump in because there is a lot to talk about I need to talk to you guys about what criteria I look for in a wet looking eyeshadow kind of my breakdown my thought process just because a product is really shiny metallic for me that doesn't necessarily constitute as um, a wet looking eyeshadow so I want to explain that part for you guys real fast if you're not interested I'll leave um, a timestamp below the formula of a wet looking eyeshadow is so super, super key. So I have three factors that I am looking for. I'm looking for the kind of reflection that is very mirror-like. I'm looking for a texture that is incredibly smooth. And I'm also looking for a bit of contrast. So let's break that down really fast. I've talked about this before, but in classical physics, there are two different kinds of reflection. So there is specular reflection, and then there is diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection is really what lights up our world. When you think of diffuse, basically what happens is when light shines onto an object, it will reflect back and kind of go every different direction. That's what makes us be able to see things in the world. But there's this other kind Kind of reflection that really makes for a wet look, which is specular reflection. So best example is think of a really, really calm body of water, the way the light shines on it and just creates this gorgeous mirror-like effect. And the only way that that is possible is with an incredibly smooth surface, which then brings me to the second criteria that I look for, which is a texture that is incredibly smooth. The most wet looking eyeshadows that I have found tend to be very, very smooth. And it's not necessarily about like how much sparkle is in the product. It's really about how all of these things come together and contrast is the next piece of that puzzle. There are some really smooth, wet looking eyeshadows, but because there's not enough contrast to it, somehow it just kind of falls flat. I often do find that most wet looking eyeshadows have a touch of translucence to them. Not all, but it definitely helps. So let's just jump in. First of all, we need to talk about this one item. You guys, I've been holding out on you for like a while, like I think since January, and that is, that boggles my mind. <laughs> it has taken a lot of self-restraint to not talk about these a lot, to not wear them in like all of my videos. I really wanted this product to kind of be the front runner, um, something that I really wanted to reveal to you guys in this video. So let's talk about this. These are some new eyeshadows from the lovely Stila. These are their Glisten and Glow. So the minute that these launched, I picked these up. This is a completely new kind of liquid glitter product that Stila has come out with. I love that they have taken a different approach to their liquid glitters. I often find that a wet looking glitter is super wearable and you can really incorporate it into a lot of different looks. Whereas some of Stila's other glitters have a lot more base pigment. So you kind of have to uh, be a little bit more cognizant of the look that you're incorporating it into. And they're just generally more impactful. But what is absolutely gorgeous about these 
these new glisten and glows is that they have a base pigment to it but it's a little bit more translucent and it shears out really prettily not only that but it also has more of a wet looking sparkle so i have five different shades i have swatched all of them in person and these were the shades that really called to me i have stream which is this gorgeous chocolate brown oasis which is more of a deep peach of playa which is more of a taupe with a touch of purple kitten kaleidoscope which is a light rose gold and that's actually what i have in the inner portion of my eyes today this is an eyeshadow that i am going to be keeping on top shelf and i also have the shade ocean which has been another favorite that is more of a champagne beige all of these have more of a champagne reflect them with tiny touches of blue the blue is not necessarily something that i see on my eyes i more so see that champagne but but I do think it kind of adds a little bit of something extra, like just a touch of dimension. They're really absolutely gorgeous. So the reason I really love them is again because of that translucent base. You can top an eyeshadow with them like I did today, or you can also wear them as more of a sheer product on the eyes. But what makes them so cool is that they set down. That is something that does not happen with a lot of wet looking eyeshadows. A lot of them can be quite emollient and the fact that these have a dry down to them without being really difficult to work with I think that makes these incredibly, incredibly special. And a lot of products, they might apply looking really wet and sparkly, but then when they set down, they kind of lose something. And that is definitely not the case with these. So again, this is a liquid formula and they all have this really pretty sheer base to them. So you can apply them in a few different ways. One, you can use them on their own, but if you do decide to just use them on their own and you do typically wear like concealer as a base, I would go in with a little bit less because sometimes I find that concealer can kind of dull the sparkle of these or honestly my favorite way to apply these is to go in with like any shadow just like a base shadow it can be like a taupe it could be something so boring and then applying these right on top with a finger. I find that a finger is a really easy way to work with these if you're just getting used to them or you can just you know open it up swipe it right on you guys, I just feel like this is going to be a product that is so gorgeous for someone that wants a long wear wet looking eyeshadow that is still wet and reflective. I just, I'm so happy that Stila went this route. I think it's so unique and really just a home run. And you know what made it even more difficult to wait to talk about these is that I have not seen a single person talk about them. So I'm just, you know, like sitting here waiting to talk about them, but yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. You certainly don't need all of these. Yeah, you guys, they're absolutely freaking stunning. Like I just love them. Okay, and the other eyeshadow that's on my eyes, I, I can't even tell you like how excited I am to like sit here and talk about these products you guys because I just feel these kind of products just make me feel so happy the reflection how different and unique all of these products are it just kind of fills in the gap uh, that I've just noticed with eyeshadow for a long time oh my gosh you guys this eyeshadow it is so gorgeous okay and by the way I'm going to be saying wet a lot in this video if you haven't already noticed, so disclaimer there. But this product is the other eyeshadow that I have on my eyes today. And wow, absolutely freaking incredible. So this is Lithium from the Moondust line. Now, the first product that really the wet looking eyeshadow that I've been using for like four years now is Space Cowboy from the Moondust line. I would say that is still a top pick. You know, that product was very heavily referenced in my first video. But Lithium is another shadow that they recently relaunched. Really just as stunning as Space Cowboy, you guys. It is this gorgeous chocolate brown with this epic looking champagne sparkle. And something that I um, wanted to briefly touch on is that the reason why I think 
a lot of these products with more of a champagne sparkle look more wet than products with a bunch of different sparkle colors to them is that i mean naturally when you think about uh something wet some sun reflecting on water that is the color you know of that reflection and that sparkle that's part of the reason why i think these products tend to look more wet than others but you guys, like even looking at this, seeing it on my eyes, I just want to stick my finger into this and immediately apply it. If you are a huge fan of Space Cowboy and you haven't tried this shade, you guys, it's epic. Glitters in here are incredibly smooth. The base pigment, again, has that touch of translucence. It's not just a flat chocolate brown, which is what makes this the perfect storm, really, of a wet looking eyeshadow. Perfection, really. I wouldn't change a damn thing about it. Now, another product that I tried out from the Moondust line, another shade, is the shade Cosmic. And the shade Cosmic, I was thinking would be just more of a true white looking wet sparkle. Something like the Crystal Reflector from Makeup by Mario. We're gonna talk about this product in a second. This actually has way more white base to it than I was really expecting. Not that it has a lot, but I think the way that the sparkles were formulated makes for just not a super wet looking eyeshadow. So I figured I would briefly mention that, that I don't think that this one is worth the money, especially if you can get your hands on Space Cowboy. I think Space Cowboy is really gorgeous if you want something closer to this, obviously uh, lithium. But I just wanted to kind of call that out to you guys because I think some people might be wondering about that the same way that I was. And I also wanted to mention Shadow from the Moondust line. This is their old packaging. This is the shade Solstice. They are still making uh, this shade. And if you want something that is more of a duochrome that is very wet looking, go with this because it is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful wet duochrome. Definitely kind of that red brown vibe from MAC if you guys are familiar with that pigment, but this one is incredibly wet looking and reflective on the eyes. By the way, look at this old space cowboy. I think this is the first one that I got in... No! Yeah, it's all like broken up now and has been sitting in here, but I just can't bear it apart with it for some reason. I'm already realizing that this is gonna be a long video because I really, like talking about these products makes me so happy, you guys. So I just tend to talk a little bit more. So next let's talk about another product from Stila that I wanted to quickly mention. This is the Glitter and Glow formula, not to be confused with the Glisten and Glow that we just talked about, this new formula. This is an older formula from Stila but it's in the shade Perlina. And I feel like Perlina is really what inspired these eyeshadows. And I, I really absolutely love it. It is more of a white, just diamond sparkle. So it is gorgeous because it has, again, a translucence to it, but the sparkles, the texture of the sparkles are very fine. So again, just because a product has a ton of sparkle, the chunkier the sparkle or the more intense the base pigment, the less you kind of go into that wet realm. But this has that perfect balance. And also it's a little bit more intense as far as I feel like this has more glitter in it and a little bit less base pigment than the regular glisten and glows. But I absolutely love this one. You can definitely sheer it out. But again, if you just want to wear like a typical old peach eyeshadow with this on top, you're going to get incredible wet reflection with a formula that sticks to the eyes and does not move around. Let's talk about ColourPop for a second because I have talked about many times uh, Ritz from ColourPop, which is an incredibly like let's just call it a dupe for Space Cowboy from Urban Decay, except the texture is a little bit different. And personally, I don't know what it is, but I do feel like I still lean towards Space Cowboy. I just feel like the texture is a little bit thinner and it wants to stay on my eyes like a little bit longer. However, Ritz is an incredible affordable option and definitely top of my list. But you know, ColourPop has other options within their line that people often talk about being an option for a wet looking glitter. But I wanted to kind of talk about this because I don't think that all of ColourPop's eyeshadows are super wet looking. I've swatched in person Frog, which is very wet looking, but it is more of a duochrome. The shade Sailor is also in that vein. It has more of a blue sparkle, but some of them just aren't wet. For example, this shade Tassel, 
I picked this up and I was like, this is gonna be epic and very wet looking, but hopefully you guys can tell. You see how this just has too much base pigment to look wet on the skin. You can shear it out, but because of that white base pigment, because it's just white on white, without that contrast, like I was telling you guys before, it just doesn't look as wet as Ritz. For example, Ritz has a really light champagne sparkle, but it has more of a beigey, translucent base to it. So it really reflects, whereas this one just kind of falls a little bit flat. However, Ice Dream from ColourPop has a little bit more of a purpley blue tint to it as far as the sparkle goes, a little bit more translucence, and look at it up here compared to that. This looks way, way more wet looking. So if you're looking for more of a duochrome wet looking eyeshadow, this is a very good option. I also picked up Mighty Morphing for this video. It looked really pretty swatched out, but again, it is not quite as wet looking as I would like. Very pretty and glittery, but again, just a glitter, not necessarily a wet looking eyeshadow. And lastly, I think Lady Bird is really close. Um, we're definitely getting there with this shadow. You need a little bit of this. Don't go overboard with it, or I feel like it does kind of take away from the wet appearance. It's right there. If you use a very sheer amount of this on the eyes, I do feel like it will give you a really gorgeous wet effect. However, um, it's not a product that I'm loving as much as Ritz. So I kind of wanted to give you an update on a few of the other ColourPop shadows that I tried. However, if you are looking for a more affordable wet looking eyeshadow, this one from Incredible is incredible. <laughs> it's the shade Daily Drams, a very, very dry pigment. Actually, mine broke in transit. It's more of just like a dry pigment kind of glitter, so it doesn't have a lot of wet emollients to it. However, don't let that fool you because it is absolutely wet looking gorgeousness on the eyes. So it's more of a light taupe with just touches of purple and pink. And when you kind of press it down into the eyes, it just reflects so gorgeously. Like every way it turns, it kind of shifts in a different color while also being smooth enough and translucent enough as far as the base pigment goes to still look wet. I think it's perfect for those of you that don't like a really emollient um, eyeshadow. Beautiful, smooth, affordable, and certainly one, as far as colors go, this color I feel like is really gorgeous. Now I also have some shadows from Jaclyn Cosmetics and this is a little bit of a bummer. Not these eyeshadows, but the fact that they are I believe being discontinued. So if you can find them, you can find them. I know that you can still find the shade North Star on Ulta. Morphe too I think, but these are essentially like the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats. So if you guys aren't familiar with that formula, they're basically like some absolutely insane, gorgeous, wet looking eyeshadows. They're more of a creamy pigment. Um, when you press your finger into the pots, they feel a bit squishy, but they also feel kind of cool to the touch, a bit wet, like literally. And they combine every single thing that you could think of that would create a wet looking eyeshadow. So again, it's got a little bit of translucence. The shimmer is ultra, ultra smooth. Those glitters just glide and create that perfect specular reflection like I was talking about before. Now North Star I actually do feel like is more unique and I haven't seen a color like this in the Natasha Denona line. It's a little bit too warm to be like the nude and I don't believe that the bronze was this shade either. I could be wrong about that but I also have the shade Tinsel, just taupey, wet, awesome reflection and if you can't find Tinsel you guys, just go with Lithium from Urban Decay. Um, Tinsel is just a little bit more cool toned and the shade Glassy is essentially Natasha Denona Peach. So if you can't find this shade, just go with Natasha Denona Peach. You know, they're the same product. They are all absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong. If you can find one before they're gone forever, go for it. Or if you can't, again, Urban Decay Lithium, um, Natasha Denona Peach. I love 
Natasha Denona um, Gray Brown. Just go with one of those. By the way, these are the two Natasha Denona Crema Crystal top coats that I already have and love very much. I'll leave them linked down below as well. I did talk about these in my uh, part one, like my first wet looking eyeshadow video. Next up, we have a couple of products from Tom Ford. Where's the other one? These are the cream and powder duos. This is Naked Bronze. This is Golden Peach. This has more of a gel cream formula for the base. Um, so the base itself is very, very easy to blend. Really pigmented and gorgeous. But what actually ends up creating that wet looking effect are the sparkles that you have on top. So this formula on top is actually very reminiscent of the Natasha Denona Crema Crystal Top Coats, except a bit drier. But these are what you can really build on top of the shadow to give you that wet looking reflection. I mean, look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. And personally, my favorite is the shade Naked Bronze. I didn't think that it would be, but it definitely is. I think that this looks even more wet uh, than Golden Peach. However, I mean, Golden Peach is very gorgeous too. Here are both uh, swatched there. A lot of you guys talk about like my top cream eyeshadow recommendations. If you're interested personally in just like an all-in-one item, something that you can just wear like a pretty softer metallic eyeshadow on some days, kind of sheer it out, or if you want, you know, to kind of amp it up and add a glitter on top, this is a very versatile product, obviously, because there's two different formulas here to play with. You could also just use the topper on its own, and it's very beautiful that way. Very, very gorgeous, smooth uh, sparkle to these. Again, Naked Bronze is my favorite, but Golden Peach is, I think, prettier for more of like an everyday look. Now, let's talk about a couple of more like diamond powder-esque products. So we all know about the Fenty Diamond Powder, very, very wet looking eyeshadow or highlight. You can really use it anywhere you want to on the body. But I wanted to talk about these two products that are very similar to that. So I have the Master Crystal Reflector in the shade Quartz from Makeup by Mario. And then I also have a product that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. It is the Heaven's Dew All Over Glimmer in the shade Silver Lake. And this is from Stila. So both of these, you guys, they're very similar. You don't need both. You don't even need, like if you already have the Fenty, you don't need either of these either. They're all incredibly similar. The only real difference I see personally is that the Stila has a touch of um, a finer glitter and a finer texture to it. The product itself is a bit squishy and kind of putty-like. So I think um, some of you will really appreciate that emollients because it's just easy to kind of pick up with your finger. It stays on your finger, you know what I mean? But the Makeup by Mario is a little bit of a drier formula and the glitter particles are a little bit larger. They're still very um, smooth on the skin though. So it just depends on what you're looking for or honestly like what's more accessible. Um, I really enjoy both and they're both a good product to just have on hand to add just a little bit to the middle of the eye. That's my favorite way to use a lot of uh, wet looking eyeshadows to just bring that wet reflection and sparkle. It brightens up an entire look. It opens the eyes and these are so beautiful for that. You can again also use them on the cheeks. However, there are a couple of different shades that you can choose from. Within Fenty, I believe there's still just one diamond powder shade, but you can get a deeper shade within the Makeup by Mario line as well as the Stila. Another wet looking eyeshadow that I discovered this year is from Sephora. So this is the Sephora Collection Colorful Eyeshadow. Oh, almost just dropped it in the shade Choco Excess. And this immediately reminded me of the texture of the tops of the Tom Ford shadows, except this has a stronger um, and deeper base pigment to it. So it's not necessarily the same, but again, it has a little bit more of that stiff kind of texture. And when you blend it onto the eyes, it just creates this gorgeous wet effect. I highly suggest using your fingers with this. I think that's the best way that I found as I've continued to use it. You can really capture the smoothness of the product. 
those smooth champagne glitters just reflect so perfectly on the eyes to really create that wet reflection. I tried a lot of different shades from this line, a lot of different um, finishes to these eyeshadows, but this is the only one that I have found that has given me this much of a wet effect. This is perfect if you just want a very easy, neutral, brown, wet looking eyeshadow. It is a little bit different though than Lithium um, from Urban Decay. So I'll uh, swatch both for you guys really fast, just in case you're interested. But there you go. So Choco Excess Lithium on the bottom. But yeah, there's more of a champagne um, and more glitters to the one in the Urban Decay, which I mean, could be a good or a bad thing for some people. I personally think that this product is absolutely gorgeous. However, Choco Excess is absolutely gorgeous too. And it might be more appropriate for someone, you know, it's lighter and not as much glitter. So it might be more appropriate for um, folks that want more of an everyday look. Now I do have some shadows from um, an indie brand that I wanted to talk about. These are the Moira Lucent shadows and these are absolutely gorgeous. I also have been watching a lot of Star Wars recently. So like, I feel like I just love these names. So I have the shade Saturn, which is more of a yellow, green, orange, very wet looking, very fun to play with. Not quite as wet looking just because, you know, it's more of a duochrome. I also have the shade Jupiter, which is more of a warm pink beige base pigment um, with those little wet reflex of blue, champagne and silver. It's so incredibly smooth. And because the base pigment is again, more of like that barely there look, it's like instant wet look. And then the shade Infinity is more of like that medium beige, sparkly champagne, very reminiscent of like Ritz and Space Cowboy. They have a really nice kind of squishy um, texture to them. They're definitely a little bit creamier than the ColourPop shadows. And they don't, I haven't found that they break as easily either. Applies gorgeously and smoothly on the eyes. These aren't going to be like the most long lasting cream eyeshadows, but a little bit of primer will go a long way. And because these are so incredibly pigmented, going with a light hand, I feel like um, less is more with some wet looking eyeshadows. Like some you can really build up a lot and they'll keep looking more and more wet, but others will start to go more onto the metallic realm. I feel like that's the case with these. So you don't need a lot, less is more. And I think that they are absolutely beautiful. This is also a recent product that I talked about and it is the, the Five Color Couture palette from Dior. And this is the new look palette. As far as someone that wants a smoky palette that has the option of a really wet looking eyeshadow already incorporated into it, this is really beautiful. Um, I personally love it because I love these metallics on their own. Like if you just want a really creamy, rich, pigmented, gorgeous look, if you like a smokier look, this is the perfect palette for you. It also has this wet kind of sparkle top coat that you can add on and that's what's really going to create that wet effect. This is very diverse because it's obviously a palette rather than like, you know, a single eyeshadow. So I wanted to mention it Though I feel like this sparkle top coat isn't the wettest looking sparkle top coat out there. However, when it's paired with the shadows, it really comes to life. This is definitely a find that I was happy to have this year. And I will show you a look that I created with it. Even though it's a little bit messy, I still think that it's that kind of gorgeous, wet looking, grungy, um, really just like perfect kind of smoky eye for me. An affordable option that I wanted to quickly mention was the Misha Dewy Glossy Eyes. So this is the shade Honey Roast. The color, again, is more of like a light kind of honey shade. Very, very smooth. Again, very light base pigment to it. So it has all of the criteria for um, more of a wet looking eyeshadow, except for, I just feel like some days it looks wet and some days it doesn't. So I feel like this would be best applied with a shadow under it just to kind of stabilize the product. And I do wonder about some of the other shades because I feel like Honey Roast, because it's more warm, I'm just wondering if one of the cooler tone shades would have a little bit more champagne to it and might truly look like sparkling water rather than, you know, like a champagne reflect. So I'm interested in that. However, I do feel like like this squishy kind of formula, super smooth, you know, not a lot of base pigment, like it has all of those factors, but there are just other ones that I'm reaching for more and I feel like give me more. By the way, I had to quickly jump back on here. I realized I forgot to mention the Ritual Defi Celestial Sphere Eye Soots. 
The Shade Serpents is one that I literally just talked about in my last video, but I wanted to quickly mention that as well because if you're looking for a true like eye gloss kind of formula, like that is a cream mixed with a glitter and mixed with a gloss. It has a great base pigment to it, but it can sheer out. Um, the texture itself though is really what gives it that glossy wet appearance. A lot of these are of course wet looking, but not literally wet. Those are definitely more of a wet um, eye gloss kind of product but I do feel like they're very unique and I wanted to mention them in this video especially for those of you that like to add like a gloss on top of looks I feel like they're so gorgeous and and I feel like the combination of the glitters and the base pigments they're just very um well thought out the shade serpents is absolutely gorgeous and again with that glossy kind of texture it really reflects now obviously it's going to be um, a product that creases so if you don't like that you probably will not be a fan but it is a very very unique item but lastly i wanted to talk about my dazzle sticks from kvd i did already mention flash storm in my last video and this is absolutely gorgeous and i do feel like it is um, more wet looking than the color I'm about to talk about. Um, so if you're into like a taupey kind of wet looking purple, really long lasting eyeshadow, um, I think that this is a really good find, but it is hard to find. So that is always the case with these and has been since I tried them. However, Hail Surge, I do find it comes in stock more, um, but it is just Woo! It is intense and it is wet looking. Repeat after me. You do not need a lot of this. And I think that that is really key because when you can use just a little bit of it and get it to apply really closely and smoothly on the skin, that is when it starts to look really wet and reflective. Again, something more chunky is going to take away from the illusion of something really smooth and wet looking. So definitely less is more. I do feel like the same thing goes with Flash Storm as well, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Just, you could really incorporate this into so many looks whereas I feel like flash storm is really pretty for like a one and done kind of shade I feel like a lot of you would get a lot of use out of uh, hail surge it's again really easy to incorporate into any look very smooth and long lasting and I just in general you know they're really beautiful they are hard to find um, but I am going to link them down below hopefully one of these shades are in stock if you guys are interested thank you guys so much for watching I really hope the wait was worth it I hope you found all the demos and swatches helpful again I will have every product that I mentioned linked down below as well as well as my part one um you guys can check that out and if you guys want to recommend any other wet looking eyeshadows that you think I should investigate feel free to leave them down below but as always thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in my next one